Hey, what's up everybody? BDL44 coming at you another video. All right, so I'm feeling real good. Just got through making a nice playlist of mine. Had a bunch of music on there, all good stuff. And I uh, figured I'd just quickly comment on something because I saw Steven Jackson uh, had commented on uh, Kanye West speaking uh, against, uh, you know, George Floyd's, the mother of his child. I'm trying to word it the right way. Uh, but the mother of his child, I guess, Kanye West is saying that this lady's being greedy for suing him. And um, <clears throat> Stephen Jackson came out and, and clarified, uh, you know, his point of view in, in, on behalf of the family. And uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to speak out because I've been speaking so much on Kanye and various things. And, uh, you know, I just really believe that at this point in time, Kanye West has... He's been toying around with people's pain. In the midst of all the different things that he's trying to do, he's toying around with people's pain. And while I understand his point of view, and I think a lot of people agree with him in regards to, um, you know, it does look as if it does, it looks cold on behalf of the family to have received $2 million and then to turn around and sue him for 250 when all of this is taking place. It can appear to be opportunistic and cold, but... Steven Jackson is saying that the $2 million wasn't necessarily given as $2 million. Maybe it was divvied out in some other way. I wasn't quite sure what he was trying to explain, but essentially he was saying it wasn't $2 million or what have you. Notwithstanding, <clears throat> money was donated. Uh, nobody disputed that. And so it, it just does look bad when this is all going on. He's being canceled every which way, and then all of a sudden, yet another situation where this is uh able to extract uh, a great deal of his wealth from him so uh, it looks like a further piling on of that attack and you know that's what he was essentially saying but uh you know Stephen Jackson pointed out and said yo you opened your mouth that was you you and then uh, as I always say give the enemy ammo and they're going to shoot it back at, back at you that's one of my favorite sayings and that's exactly what happened there with Kanye, you know? And it's essentially what Steven Jackson was saying. They were going back and forth with the petty stuff, talking about the hat and all that, but the, the crux of the information and uh, of all of it, for me, was just, you know, putting the onus back on Kanye. At the end of the day, Ye is being humbled by God, and he's showing us a lot of things, but some of the things he's showing us through his examples and his mistakes, and if we're all wise enough to be able to read what's going on, some of this stuff we can see that's happening to him it's just as important as the stuff that he's revealing to us because he's out here making certain types of mistakes based on his personal desires in life and things not going his way. And that's what's driving him. But in it driving him, it's also opening up doors for us to have conversations that people have been afraid to have for many years. So, um, you know, I think it's personally very divine, the whole thing. And I just think a lot of people are not quite sure where this is headed, you know, in regards to some of the norms that we're going to be entering in regards to certain conversations. Um, so that's what I think is happening here. I think people, this is right before people understand. This is essentially where we are. We're right before the understanding of some things. And so I don't blame anyone for where they stand today. <clears throat> I heard Steven Jackson say he, he supports Kanye and everything else that he's doing, but he doesn't support what he's saying in regards to George Floyd's family. And I agree. Truth be told, you guys, I agree. That's been my take the whole time. And it's not that I felt that what I saw in the George Floyd situation was something that I was able to behold at face value based on how my mind works and the skepticism of my natural way. But truth be told, there's a certain way you convey your skepticism and that platform in that way was not it. And I thought he was plugging his friend Candace's documentary and I thought that that was unwise in nature and didn't have a whole lot of good attached to it nothing to serve us in regards to what we're trying to learn here nothing to serve him in regards to helping him with his uh, business situations it didn't serve anything at all but to toy with people's pain something that he's got off on for many many years and now it's time for him to be humbled in that way 
And as someone who believes in God, I know when God is saying, yo, you got to pay up. And that is exactly why I'm here to second that. I don't know if he's being attacked in this way. And I don't know if 250 is what he should pay. I don't know what. But I know one thing. He needs to stop playing with people's pain. When he's trying to show all these things that he's trying to do, and you put on certain demonstrations, you are torn with forces. And that's not just the Kanye, that's myself and anybody else. Smoking the dead, all of that, you are playing with forces. And when you're embarking on journeys and you're embarking on the name of Jesus Christ, you think there's no sacrifice? For those who believe, you know there will be. So a guy like Kanye got to know something like this is coming. You're going to be attacked from every different ways, but most of all from within. All them different things that make you sin, all them different things that make you want to worship things that aren't God, you know, <laughs> idolizing certain things. Yeah, he got to put some of that aside if he's going to bark on this journey. You know what I'm saying? This is just honest truth. And and I'm looking at it for what I believe it is. And so I'm, I'm just watching him. I'm watching him. He's being humble. And I think in this way, I'm with Stephen. Yay pay. <laughs> Yay pay. I don't know if 250 is right. And if it's an attack, then I believe that <clears throat> what will be revealed will ultimately leave him on the right side of things if he's on the right side of things. But at the end of the day, when you give your enemies ammo, brother, you know what I'm saying? And when you go around telling everybody how much you have and bragging about what you have and you got more than this person and that person, just out of hurt. As he said, just because I felt hurt and insecure. Well, brother, that's going to cost you. There are people out here who need very small fractions of what you have in order to survive. And they're not going to get it. So when you run around just playing with people's pain because you perceive pain a certain way within. That doesn't mean that the rest of the world is going to follow along with you and, and perceive it the same way. No, pain holds different thresholds for different people. One thing that might make me cuss you out may make another person shoot you. And he needs to respect that when he's invoking pain. And so that's something I've been thinking a lot about in regards to him. And I'm glad this is happening this way. Because we all need to see all of the lessons he's learning in regards to this. Watched him for many, many years, many, many years idolize artists that he was greater than. And I've mentioned this once on the camera, and I'll mention it again. Many artists that he was greater than. And so that idolization, that is... That's that's what I think he's ultimately paying for. You know what I mean? Getting away with doing all different types of stuff that just hurt people, especially his own people. And then he wants to turn around and say he wants us to invest and believe in him. No, brother. You don't get to toy with people and then turn around and say, see, I'm doing good. No, that's going to cost you. That's going to cost you. So that's what I'm seeing here, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, look, I don't know that those on the Floyd side should not too heed what he's learning here. Do not think God don't work just in one way. <laughs> That's essentially what he was trying to say. I wouldn't toy with that. I wouldn't toy with that. I'm getting chills when I say it. I wouldn't toy with that. What he's got going on, you try to dip in that bucket. Oh, man. Talk about generational curses. I don't know. I wouldn't. I would not. I would retract that. Some, not all money is good money, y'all. That's bad money. My spirit, uh, my soul tells me, leave that alone. <laughs> I hope they eat it. I hope everybody understands that I'm, I'm speaking from my heart when I say that. I think who's ever on the other side of the Floyd family who's trying to take that money from Jay, I don't think they should pursue that. I don't think so. Bad karma, bad juju. It feels bad. I don't know. Speaking from the soul. Anyway, so it is what it is, man. That's what I got to say. I'm, here. I'm not here to condemn nobody. I got more sins than enough of my own. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here to show y'all that I can support a person to a point. I don't have to take it all the way. If they're doing things I can't get with, a free thinker should be able to see all things. Yeah, you're doing some good. Yeah, you did some stuff that you're going to have to learn from. And you're teaching us, and I'm glad it's happening. But as far as being able to toy with wealth and toy with pain, nah, my friend, no. Other people have things they need too. So it is what it is. If you're going to do that, be ready to break bread. If you're willing to give $2 billion back, and this is something that's real here too, 
If you're willing to give two billion back just to make a simple point, it shouldn't be nothing to break 250 off of that young girl. And I'm gonna say that and I mean that. It ain't got nothing to do with what we're talking about. Just in period. For what all that we're talking about. You should have no problem donating that 250 to her. Because you you're giving two billion back to them, right? That's the enemy. Just give it to them just to prove a point. Clearly money don't matter. Maybe you should take care of her. Since you thought it was cool to say all that woofing. They shouldn't take it. And you shouldn't hold it. That's what my spirit is saying. Both sides should be very, very comfortable with letting that money go. You told us money's Medusa? Especially the kind you holding on to for the wrong reasons. Believe that. I just be speaking, man. I don't know. I'm a Laker fan. I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I just speak. At the end of the day, I'm going to watch this game that's coming up like right now. I thank you guys for watching BDL 44.